In this problem, we're looking to multiply a fraction with a whole number. And that would be easier if they were both fractions. So the first one, the 6 sevenths, we can leave as is, but that 42, it would be nice if it was also a fraction. And we can write any whole number as a fraction by just making it, in this case, 42 over 1. So 42 divided by 1 is 42. And now I'm multiplying a fraction with a fraction, which is easier because we know that we can multiply the tops, get an answer, multiply the bottom, and then simplify. But one of the things that we can also do when we have a fraction multiplied by a fraction is we can cross cancel. So if there is a number that, let's say, divides evenly into both numbers on the diagonal, so the 6 and the 1, I could divide both of those by that common factor. 6 and 1, the only thing they have in common is 1, and that wouldn't change anything. However, on the other diagonal, 7 and 42, both of those numbers are divisible by 7. So I can divide each one by 7. 42 divided by 7 is 6, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. And since I did that before multiplying, I'm actually going to get much smaller numbers. In the top, the 6 times the 6 would give me 36. And then in the bottom, the 1 times the 1 would be 1 times 1 is 1. So we would want to simplify our answer. 36 divided by 1 is just 36. So turning that whole number into a fraction and then multiplying just as we would with fractions while cross-canceling has made things a lot easier.